Hello all, my name is Krish and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about what is the roles and responsibilities of a data engineer, data analyst and data scientist. And by this we'll be also understanding the difference between these roles. So remember guys, the first, if we consider any project, right? First of all, we are basically going to consider about the warehouse. And specifically if I'm talking with respect to a data science project, I need to have this particular data warehouse because initially, I'll be connecting some amount of data for my training, right? Training of the models. So in this particular data warehouse, I'll be collecting the data through various means, okay? It may be IoT data, it may be through third-party APIs, and when I'm talking about third-party APIs, it may be through any social networking site, okay? And many more. And there are a lot of uh, APIs that provide us free data, and some of the APIs also paid, right? So all those data is basically collected. In short, all the raw, raw data, and it is huge and abundant amount of data that will be stored in the data warehouse. And for that, this data engineer, right? Data engineer will make sure that the data is basically stored in a much more efficient way. Now, when I say much more efficient way, they may basically use big data Hadoop clusters, right? This is one of the way. Again, there are different, different ways to basically store the data. So the data engineer work will basically be restricted till here where they're collecting various amount of information from IoT. Now when I say IoT, they are different kind of devices, like let it be smartphone, let it be smartwatch, let it be through different kind of uh, digital devices and many more. So in the next step, what happens is that, now we have to use this data, right? Now if I'm considering a data science life cycle or data science project, understand that I have to take this particular data and do complete all my pipe si uh, pipelines that are basically involved in the data science life cycle. Now, when, when I say pipelines, it may be a feature engineering pipeline, it may be a feature selection pipeline, it may be a model creation pipeline and many more. So always remember, next step, I'll just take up this particular data, I'll perform some exploratory data analysis. Now, when I do exploratory data analysis, there is a very good role called as data analyst that comes into picture. Now, data analyst, what they do is that they try to take this data, they perform all different kind of stuffs in that particular data. They apply statistical analysis on that data to understand or take out some more information from that particular data. So once they take out some information, what they may do is that they will try to represent this data in some visualization way. They may be using some different kind of tools. It may be Power BI, it may be Tableau, and then they will give up all these visualization reports to the stakeholders. Now, when they give that particular information to the stakeholders, the stakeholders will be able to understand how that particular data is basically behaving. Now remember guys, when the data analyst is working also, there is also a role called as data scientist. Now this data scientist can also do the same role of the data analyst. So nowadays, data scientist is the highest paid job. So data analyst can perform the same role of data analyst, that is that they can also do the exploratory data analysis because they know all the programming languages like Python, let it be R, and they are able to perform all these particular activities what a data analyst do. Now the exact difference between a data scientist and a data analyst comes in this two section. A data analyst will not know how to create a model. They don't know how to deploy a model. They don't know how to optimize a model. So after doing the exploratory data analysis, it is the work of data scientist who will involved in this particular stage to decide which machine learning algorithm to use for this specific data based on the statistical analysis. Then they select a model, they try to create a model through some machine learning algorithms, or it may be deep learning algorithms. So once they do, they, the next step is basically about the model deployment. And when I say model deployment, this is basically deployment to the production and exposing a REST API to the front end user so that they can basically use it. So after this, there is also one more step called as model optimization. Now when I say model optimization, that basically means that we are trying to increase the efficiency of the model, the performance of the model, the accuracy of the model, and that is being monit monitored time to time, okay? So here you can see that a data scientist can also do the work of data analyst, but vice versa is not possible. A data analyst will not know how to do a model creation, how to do a model deployment. So this in short gives you a basic difference between a data engineer, a data analyst, and a data scientist. Right? So again, remember the last step was model optimization. And always remember this cycle will get continued periodically. Every three, three months, again, you have to create the next version of the model as the data changes because the data is continuously getting collected. Right? So after this, 
it is like you can create a various different different use case it may be a recommendation use case based on this particular data we provide recommendation to our front end devices right let it be smartphone smart watch and many more so this was all about this particular video where we understood the basic roles and functionalities of a big data engineer data analyst and a data scientist i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day and thank you